Welcome back to Breaking Waves. This episode starts in the middle of the Sea of Cortez, one day into our passage from Cabo San Lucas to Puerto Vallarta. Here's the thing. We're 50 miles away from any kind of land, and there's a big ball of bait fish all around us. We can see dolphins hunting and birds diving just to get a piece of it. So even though it's over 9,000 feet deep... How about that for getting out of bed? Uh, Spring it into action. Yeah. We're going in. So you guys are both going in the water? Yeah. What's for Ali's role here? He's filming. Filming? Brett's killing? Yeah. The crew member we picked up for the passage is Brett Bickerton of Bickerton Co., an avid spearfisher and the man that handmade our spear gun on Vancouver Island. Yeah, yeah there's some big fish jumping on the water over there. And he's going to try to spear us a fish. Dolphins are everywhere, man. All right, we just chased the bait ball a couple hundred meters. Dolphins, they seem like they're bringing us to the fish. Just dolphins everywhere again, a couple birds. Saw some tuna jumping, so we're ready to go. Hoping for the best. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They're everywhere, it looks like they're hunting too. Oh yeah, they're definitely hunting. Yeah, it's far enough. All right, so bait ball attempt number two. Alas, the bait ball has moved on. So Ali and Brett are just gonna get out of the water and we're gonna chase it. It looks like it's about another 200 meters away again. This would definitely be a little easier in like a panga or like a fast, even the dinghy would be good, but I don't really wanna take the dinghy off in these rolly seas. Yeah, we'll give her another go. Each time we arrived, we would jump in to find the water full of fish scales and the smell of dead fish. It seemed we were always just a little bit too late. What's that? The dolphins, though, like looked right at us. Yeah, they were like super interested in us. Yeah. They like stopped. They looked like little gangsters. They were like, what are you doing? <laughs> and then one did like a flip and bounced. And I was like, when he did the flip, I thought he was going to play with us. But he bounced. On the prowl, I got my birds telling me where to go. See some big fish jumping. Back on them, 100 meters out from eight ball attempt number three. Wind's starting to pick up again, so we're starting to feel the swell. Beginning to think that without sardines, it's not going to be a successful mission, but it's still fun trying. So they're trying to swim towards the bait ball now, which I don't know if you can see that or not, but pretty far away. It'd be cool if they could catch up to it for sure. 
I'm predicting that right now Allie is terrified about a shark coming and getting her. No, Allie. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you realize she signed up for an open open water swim right now. But, uh, I'm sure she'll tell you guys about it in a bit. Bait balls move fast, eh? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think we can keep up with them. I'm surprised you uh, aren't terrified of sharks. <laughs> Try a couple passes with the fish around? Yeah. I'm gonna go for a bit and just swim by. And then Brad dove and they dove. The dolphins? Yeah. I wonder what kind of dolphins they are. They don't look like they them. have like stripes. Yeah. Bruce, get out of the way, buddy. Come on. Get. Get. Ooh. Well, good attempt, guys. Cool. Got to dive with dolphins anyway. Get out of the way. Um, Brad, are you keen to give her another go? No, we don't have to. Yeah. It'd be cool to get a shot off, but have you have you guys seen any fish underwater yet? No fish, no. just dolphins. I feel like it's like They're without so sardines. I feel like we have like no chance, you know. Uh, maybe we should uh, pass through with the fishing rod and see if we can catch a fish to use as chum. Yeah, a good attempt. Pretty good attempt. Next time, sardines. <laughs> First night's passage was 20 knots on the beam and pumping, but the second day brought dying winds and calm seas, making it a very comfortable second day of the passage. Hi guys, where's the fish? Good job, team. Morning, Allie. Went in. <laughs> Around 3 a.m. on the second night, we arrived at Isla Isabella, a little island about 20 nautical miles off the coast of Mexico. It's a national park that we had been really excited to explore as it's nicknamed the Galapagos of Mexico. Isla Isabella. She is Isabella. Morning crew, we are anchored off the coast of Isla Isla Bella. Just, what are we, maybe like 40, 60 miles from the mainland. That was all night again. We arrived close to sunrise, dropped the hook and went back to bed. So crew's way more rested than we were yesterday. Yesterday we were all feeling the, the first night shift where none of us really slept well. So we're feeling good. We're getting the dink in the water. Bruce is going ashore. This island is renowned for its... Uh, marine and bird life. Lots of boobies here. You guys have probably seen that before on the tubes. But yeah, it should be good. Be nice to do a little bit of hiking, a little bit of diving. Maybe we'll, if it's legal, we're not sure yet. If it's allowed, we're going to try to catch a fish because we're pretty much out of fresh meat and produce. They're getting down. What do you think, Ali? Isla Isabella, what's, what's in the I love boobies! <laughs> Well, you've officially accomplished your first passage aboard Kiana. What are your thoughts? How was it? Pretty great. 
Pretty great? Pretty great. No bad things? It went perfect? No bad thing. You, were <laughs> you weren't scared once? Not even for a bit. <laughs> no, the one thing was when Bruce was sleeping and he wasn't around. I didn't really like that because I missed him. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> but other than that, no, it's pretty good. Sweet. How was your passage? My passage was pretty good. How was your passage, Captain? Well, with crew my crew didn't catch any freaking fish, so basically starved. Okay. <laughs> your, your life is so hard. My passage was pretty good. Uh, first night was crazy. We went so fast, but um, never worried about anything. And then the second passage that's was a lie. glorious. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Ben, I wanted to put a reef in and Ben didn't want to, so I had to go down below and take a nap because I was too stressed. Um, but on my watch anyway, nothing was wrong. Um, and then the second night was super easy because we motored and it was flat and there was no rolls and everybody slept gloriously. And then we woke up to this heck of a beautiful island that I am so excited to explore. So I think it's going to be a good day, folks. Bye, Dodo. I definitely think Allie's gonna get a shot on first, without a doubt. But I think I almost if you like the loser should be the winner. About whoever gets shot on first doesn't have to cook or clean tonight. Ooh, deal. great deal. I'm definitely running into a place. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're in Jurassic Park. So many birds. Crater Lake. Super cool. Woo! Oh god, that makes me a bit dizzy. Yeah, this is exactly what my dream was like. Look at that little, is that a booby? Yeah, I think so. Man, look at the, you can see the bottom of the water. It's the weirdest feeling in the world to have like, birds flying but be at eye level yeah. I'm like you know you're high when <laughs> hey <-o>. hey <laughs> Thank you. 
super nice here. It's hot though. I'm ready to get in the water. Kylie wins. I got pooped on! <laughs> That's a yeah. minor amount of poop. <laughs> No, yeah, you taste it. That is not poop. Eat it, Ben. That sounds not poop. That's not enough poop. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Alrighty, so Brett cleaned the fish that we got. And Ben's packing up the boat. We're just getting ready to head out here. Probably, I think the plan is now Chicala. Yeah. Okay. Chicala. Um, we can probably get there before midnight, maybe a little after, and then Ben can work there tomorrow while Brett and I do fun things. <laughs> And then uh, maybe head down to PB after that. But today was full of excitement and fun things, and I feel exhausted but happy. And I'm stoked to make some fish tacos! All right, see you on the flip side. Local fishermen sold us some, some sort of, I don't know, reef fish. I'm not sure what it was, but it looks good. Yeah, bear fish maybe. Shout out to our new patrons who have joined us this past week. I am so excited to chat with you over on Patreon. Karsten Frank, Nick Fry. Albert and Sherry Verzel, and Cole Hamilton. Thank you guys so much for joining the team. And if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on Chicala in next week's episode. While you're here, might as well check out this episode, because it's a good one. See you later.